hi and welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's video i thought i would do a, i was gonna say a little it's not little i thought i would do a big boots haul because every so often they do a 20 percent off student event also i'm moving into my third year uni house in the first week of july so i thought why not stock up on some toiletries while them 20 percent off but I also did get a few extra bits as well that I thought I would show you. So I've talked about the student event on my TikTok before and people always ask me for the code and I'm like, it's not a code. So basically, if you have an advantage card, which even if you're not a student, I do recommend you get because now Boots are doing, if you have an advantage card, you get 10% off all their own brand items as well. And it's sort of like a club card, so you get like special prices. But if you're a student, you go into the store, show them your advantage card and then show them either your student ID or a uni days ID or anything that says you're a student and then they load that onto your advantage card so you don't have to keep showing your student ID every time which is so good it just automatically takes it off. So yeah now that I've explained that let's get to opening the parcel. I can't even really it's so heavy I can like barely pick it up but yeah I love it when they send it in like a big box like this. I don't think I'm going to go in a specific order because there's so much stuff in here. I think I'm just going to pull out what's on top. First thing that's on top was actually one of my best buys, I think. Basically, they have like a sale and a clearance section. So I think I went on the, I think it was a sale bit just to see if there was anything on there. And it was, I think this is, yeah, so this is Skinny Dip. Skinny Dip in collaboration with Sophie Hannah. I'm not too sure who that is. But they had some stationery and I am literally addicted to buying stationery. Like I should actually, I didn't need this, but I thought it was cute and it was £3. So with 20% taken off, £2.70 and it's this weekly planner. Not going to lie, I thought it was going to be a bit bigger than this, but I actually think this size is quite good. This is what it looks like. But this is like the envelope around it, so it's going to be pretty well protected, which I love. And I just thought it was a really cute little weekly planner, especially for uni, just to keep track of anything that's happening. It's got 100 pages as well, so that's like over two years. So the next thing I got, which I actually probably shouldn't be looking at because it's technically my birthday present off my nan. So she asked me what I wanted and this is what I've chosen. So I've got the Mark Hill Curlab. So basically you buy the handle and then you can buy all the different barrels. There is actually two different types of handles. I think this one is a bit more expensive. So you can just like swap them in and out, which I think is so good. And also on the Boots website, it's free for two on the Mark Hill things. So obviously you can get a handle and then basically two curlers with like one free. And again, 20% off, it was like under £30 for two hair curlers. So I got the textured waver, which looks like this, which I think is a bit more... See, I've got my hair curled... I curled my hair this morning with my... To be fair, my curler is like 10 years old. I think it was, it was from Argus. It was like, you know, less than £20. And it's just like, it fell out within like 10 minutes. It was a lot curlier than this. I think the textured waver is a lot more like ring sort of ringlets i don't know how to describe it it's a bit more like of a stronger curl i don't think that's how to describe it but yes and then the other one i got was the medium curl which i've seen a lot of people use which is basically just like your ordinary curl it's nothing too dramatic but it's just like a nice one so yeah and then the, these are all the other ones you can get i did like i did look at the mermaid waiver i think it is as well but i do already have a waiver but you know i might pick it up next time there's 20 percent off okay what should we go for next should we go for something boring next because i just found <laughs> that right boring thing soap this is to take with me to uni um yeah so and then recently i've been obsessed with um soap and glory products i don't know why i feel like soap and glory used to be such a big thing back in the day like everyone used to have soap and glory things and for some reason i'm only just buying into it but at the moment i'm using the soap and glory pore minimizer i think it is the face wash and it's got like salicylic acid in and witch hazel and it is so good i use that as like my morning face wash so I just picked up the Sugar Crush Body Scrub because the reviews for this was so good. So shall we give it a little smell? It's going to have... Oh. kind of smells like... I don't know how to describe it. It has brown sugar sweet... Yeah, it kind of smells... It says sweet lime. It kind of smells limey. Is that a word? 
yeah so i can't wait to start trying that i did actually pick up another salt and glory product as well but question is if i can find it it might be this yes it is oh. i feel like i'm making a mess like behind me should i like hide all these things yeah let's put them on the floor the next thing I got was the Clean On Me body wash. The reviews on this said it lasts for like ages, like even after you come out of the shower, the smell is lasting. So I feel like I can't smell too that thing on it. That smells nice. I think there was like a third off all Salt and Glory products as well. So again, I'm gonna keep saying this, but again, with 20% off that, pretty good price. I think this is about like five pounds but it is a massive bottle and i also saw on the website it said like you can get over 100 i think it was 100 washes from it so that's gonna last me quite a while because i like to like sort of switch out what i'm using all right what should i go for next oh this is what i'm gonna go for <gasps> Right, so I was seeing so many TikToks on this and it's the Boots Glow Illuminating Mist. It's a shimmer spray that preps and hydrates, it says. I think it's like a dupe for the iconic one, sort of. And originally, when I saw this on TikTok, I thought it was more for like, you know, when you like, like I thought it was like sort of like a glitter spray, but apparently it's more for your makeup. Then when I looked at the reviews, it says it gives you like a really nice shine, like, I don't know, not shine, but like dewy look after you finish your makeup. So I'm going to give it a little, not on my face, just in case, but I will give it a little spray on my hand. Oh. I've just got it on my Apple Watch as well. I probably shouldn't have done that. It smells lovely. Okay, I think I can see like the slightest hint of like sort of glitter. I don't think you're going to see, but I can see like the slightest bit of glittery finish on my hand, but it's not, oh, Siri, but it's not like too in your face at all like i imagine that'd be quite a nice little setting spray for like a night out or on holiday or anything again i think this is like five pounds and it's quite a big bottle really i the packaging is so pretty i don't know if you can see it like swirling around but that is gorgeous quick update oh will this focus okay quick update it's actually a really nice like subtle glitter I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but that is really nice. And I feel like it'd be really nice like as a little like body shimmer as well. Next thing. Right, I'm gonna show you these quickly because these are these are for my mom because this is all she wanted. So she has stocked up on those while I've gotten 20% off. Let's go for this next. So I picked up the L'Oreal Pure Clay Detox Mask. It says detoxifies, clarifies, free pure clays and charcoal. It's not massive, so there's 50 mil in this. It says 10 applications. But basically, for Christmas, I had a little body shop um, like gift set. And in it, it had the Himalayan charcoal face mask. And I've started using it and it is so good. But it's tiny. I think it's got 15 mil in it. And I've sort of started using it maybe like every sort of two weeks on my like T-zone sort of area. And it's just been like helping like really like purify like really well. So I'm kind of reaching the end of that. And I looked online to see how much it was. And it was like a ridiculous price for like even just 15 mil. So I thought, no, I'm not paying that. So I went on the Boots website, looked at what was well reviewed. And I found this L'Oreal one. So I am really excited to use this um let's go for something more boring again let's go toothpaste or toothpaste i actually say toothpaste because of my accent but toothpaste um yeah aqua fresh complete care not gonna lie i don't think i've ever had this one or even this brand i normally just always go for colgate but i think this was like the cheapest one so i wasn't too bothered again this is for uni just to take with me and i also just got some normal pads not gonna lie a lot of the pads were like sold out i couldn't get um anything look the choice was either just to get normal or get like ultra night ones and i just wanted like sort of the step up from normal but not ultra night and a lot of them were sold out i don't know why but i think these were like a pound i only buy always when they're on offer because normally they're like a ridiculous price okay let's go for something that is packaged up look. 
okay so this one is hairspray obviously i'm not gonna lie i just i was just looking for the cheapest one and i feel like all of the hairsprays were really expensive apart from the boots arm brand ones but the reviews on them was like really bad so i thought i don't really use hairspray like that often and i feel like it lasts me quite a while so i just got this shockwaves one my mom also uses this one so we did get two bottles because it was two for five pounds which to be fair not too bad um i need to find the other bottle now i presume it's this one this one ah yeah right let's go for this one then so i needed some dry shampoo and again the prices was ridiculous like i remember the other week i went to tesco because i needed some dry shampoo and i do really like the batiste one batiste I think that's how you pronounce it i think it's like a fiver i'm not paying a fiver so they had this other brand i'm not sure what it was called i feel like it was like gold girl or something like that i might be making that up but and i was literally stood in tesco looking online at the reviews for it to see if it was any good and people said it was really good so i did actually pick some of that up and i've only used it a couple times but it is actually pretty decent i think it was like one pound fifty or something but this boots one i want to say it was like one pound thirty I'm not completely sure, but we're going to go with that. The reviews for it were really good. It's in a blossom, so it is a nice, like, smelling one. I'm just going to spray it to see how it smells. Oh, that is nice. I love a dry shampoo that smells nice. I feel like it makes your hair smell nice as well, so I went for that. But you know what? While we're on hair, we'll go for shampoo and conditioner. So, again, I don't like to pay over the odds for my shampoo and conditioner, but I'm also a bit, like... I don't want to say a snob when it comes to shampoo and conditioner but i know like aldi and like supermarkets and then even boots own range brand do like their own versions of shampoos and conditioners but for some reason i just cannot like get on with them at all i need a branded one and so all i ever do is i literally just get the branded one that's on special and this time the pantene one was on special but they actually didn't have, like, they're, they're both Pantene, but they didn't have, like, the matching ones of both of them. So for shampoo, I got the Silky and Glowing Biotin and Hydrolyzed Silk Protein. And yeah, both of these say that they're meant to make your hair, like, really silky and soft. And I'm really excited to try this because I don't think I've tried a Pantene shampoo or conditioner before. Like, I normally either go for Garnier or L'Oreal. Yeah, those are the two brands I mainly go for. So I'm really excited to try this one. And then the conditioner was the Lift and Volume Biotin and Rose Water. I hope I'm pronouncing all these right, by the way. Um, again, and then this one says it's silicon free. So I'm like, you know, it must be good. The only thing about shampoo and conditioners that really annoys me is sometimes when they're different like milliliters. So this is 400 ml and this is 275 ml. And I know you should probably be using like less conditioner than shampoo. But that's quite a difference in the mill and there wasn't a difference in the price it was both two pound fifty which is kind of annoying but you know right let's go for another boring thing <laughs> so i just got some hand wash this is the coconut and almond boots on range hand wash for the bathroom at uni so this is going to be my final year of uni and it's actually my first year of being in a rented house like a uni house so for the first two years i've been in a shared accommodation so i'm pretty used to like toilet rolls and hand wash already being in there like in like paper towels and things like it's always just in there so now i actually have to buy toilet roll and hand wash so i thought i'd just get this one and then this is my holy grail skincare products it's the ordinary niacinamide and zinc i have gone through so many bottles of this i bought the bigger one of this so at the moment i've got the littler one which will probably last me like I'd say a little one lasts me probably just over a month because I use it morning and evening. So I got it in the bigger bottle. That's just what it looks like. And yeah, so that probably won't even last me that long, but I've just got one to take away with me to uni because I kind of wanted to double up on all of my toiletries because I don't want to keep taking them from home to uni and back. But obviously most of my skincare bits I will because obviously skincare is a bit more expensive. But yeah, so if I can just get some cheap bits of toiletries, that's the main reason for this Boots haul, so I can just take it with me. And this is the final item. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't even know what this is. So the final thing I bought is actually makeup. I feel like I never really buy makeup anymore. I say that, I probably do, but not as bad as what I used to be when I was sort of like 13, 14, first trying makeup. I literally used to 
buy everything in the boot store. I mean, I still do, but I've probably moved on to more skincare than makeup. But recently, um, Boots brought out their own makeup range in Boots. So it's called 17, like 17. And honestly, it is so good. The prices are amazing on it. And again, with your Advantage card, you get 10% off even if you're not a student. If you are a student, you get 20% off their own products, which is amazing wait i wonder if i got 30 percent off like the boots on things then so yeah i think the first thing i bought from the 17 makeup range was a mascara and they've got two so they've got there was one i think it was two pounds and the other one was maybe four pounds but it was on offer for free and the one i bought i think it's called like the extreme lengthening one or something like that and honestly it is amazing so I've always used the Maybelline Lash Sensational and I have sort of like tried other mascaras but I've always gone back to that one because I'm like it's the best one I can find. It's not incredible but you know it's £9 I think, something like that. I am not going back to Maybelline Lash Sensational. I mean I'm not trying, I'm not saying that the 17 one is like incredible but I think it's pretty good for £3. Basically, every time I've been going into the store, I've been picking up something new to try. But I think the time after that, I went and I bought the eyebrow gel and the eyebrow pencil. Again, both amazing. And then the last time I went, I went with my friend and we both bought a lip liner and a lipstick. I'm wearing the lip liner now, but not the lipstick. And they are so nice. I think it's the lip lac... I don't know how to pronounce it, the lip lacquer, lacquer, I don't know, the lip gloss basically and it's the best lip gloss I've ever tried. I find that sometimes lip glosses don't really have much colour to them which is kind of the point I know but this one has so much colour to it, it's such a nice shade and it actually stays on my lips. Like even after I have a drink or something, obviously a bit comes away because it's a gloss but it still has a pretty good amount of colour left on my lips. And the texture of it is like the perfect texture. It's not too drying, but it's not too glossy. It's amazing, basically. So yeah, if you're looking for a new makeup range, like anything, literally go and look at 17. This isn't an ad or anything. This sounds so much like an ad, but honestly, I love it. I keep raving about it in like every TikTok I do. Like when I go into the store, I'm like, everyone needs to try this. Um, so yeah, so I've been picking up a new product sort of every time. And this time I picked up the bronzer. I bought this in the shade 20. So there was a shade lighter than this. So again, if you have like pale skin as well, this is really good. I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand. Okay, I think I find with bronzers, basically I've had my bronzer now for like literally probably like two years or something. I've never used a different like powder one. Um, recently I bought the Primark Contour one, the Charlotte Tilbury dupe, which is amazing. But sometimes I just want to be lazy and just like put a bit of bronzer on like as a powder. And sometimes I find that bronzers can look a bit orange, but this one is actually a really nice shade. Like it's not too dark at all. And again, I picked up the eyeshadow palette, which is in the shade 30 browns. Ooh, why can't, oh. I was gonna say why can't I open it it's got a sticker on it and I thought it's a little natural eyeshadow palette this is lovely so yeah it's literally got all the different shades of browns in there and some glitters as well so this is definitely good for like either everyday use or like not oh that scared me oh my god I thought I broke it then um what was I saying <laughs> or like night out or anything because I do sort of want to start wearing eyeshadow more often so this will be a perfect little one that's like really versatile is that the word yeah I don't know so yeah that is the end of the haul that is everything that I bought I think I got a pretty good amount I'm actually gonna get up I'm gonna get up how much it was and what it was off with the uh discount honestly every time there's a 20% off student event it just Boots can just take my money because it's ridiculous the amount of things I pick up sometimes. So the original subtotal was £144 and then with the student club offers and the advantage card offers or anything that was on offer, it came down to £78.98. That's like a £75 saving near enough which I think is pretty good. So that is everything that I got. Obviously, a few of the things were essentials for uni and then some of the things were new products to try. I really hope that you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.